Hello everybody and happy day today. And so on another day, um, we're going to be talking about another anime that I have previously watched, but I have watched it before, but I want to watch it again because I didn't actually saw the ending to the, to the new one that came out, so, but in honor of it, um, I just recently watched The Full Metal Alchemist, so yes, if you have not, and then, um, then I watched the Brotherhood version of it, so yes, they're the best, and I think this is the most amazing anime that I fell in love with after when I kind of got um, done with Bleach. Well, you see when Bleach ended, but continuing my show. So if you guys had never heard of Full Metal Alchemist, it talks about these two brothers who are um, Edward and Elric and Alphonse. Well, you see, the show starts where they're little kids, and their dad's out of the picture, and they live with their mom. And then all of a sudden, the mom, she dies from a, she all of a sudden dies from a sickness, or she, um, so, an illness, or she died. So, in doing so, um, the children thought, we're gonna bring mom back. Well, you see, these special kids had a special, like, um, special thing where they, can do alchemy. They have alchemy powers. <laughs> and so being little kids that they are, they thought they can bring back the dead. Well, they forgot about equivalent exchange. The equivalent exchange is where if you want something, something equal value has to be given. Well, doing so, a life for a life, means that you have to give up your life in order to give a life. And there's no such thing as human on transportation. Um, so Ed kind of lost his leg during that, and, and Alphonse lost his entire body. Well, then, going on where Ed basically fashions his brother into the armor and lost his arm during that. And so, doing so, they, during that, what happened, they finally kind of um, learned in such a young age that they can bring back the dead or there's no way possible. And such a young age, being a 12 and 11, you would think that. You know, and and so it was really painful for those brothers. Um, there's different comparisons of these animes. The Full Metal Alchemist the original is very different from the manga. Well, you see, there's some things about it where the humongous in the actual original, they're the kind of like people that are part of the Philosopher's Stone, where they they really are. You know, in the show the of uh, the original, humongous humongous. I can't say the name. Or humongous. They are basically like. Um, failed human experiments of transmutation with alchemy, and they eat philosopher's stones in order to become who they are. But in the actual Brotherhood, they were created by the seven sins of men, and they were created by Father. <laughs> so yeah, it was kind of different. Um, I like both of these animes because um, the story, like, is really. If you watch the Full Metal Brotherhood, the the Full Metal, the original, it's very emotional it's just it's slowly stepping of the brothers where they start to grow up a little bit more and they start to learn more about themselves and they and they learned throughout the days of becoming a state alchemist and being and, and trying to find their bodies that's the one thing they're trying to find a cure and trying to find answers to to do that but i think ed kind of starts showing more of himself where he's he feels like he he's human he's human you can't you can't like justify anything else. He's a human person. He has a feelings. He has emotions. So yeah, and and so yeah. Um, in Brotherhood, I believe it is very it's very different. You see, I think it's more darker than the original because it's more geared to the brothers, but also it's where the brothers do show a lot more. It's not like only Edward that's growing up. It's also Ed, Al is growing up, where he's learning that there's, where he doesn't need to be staying on the sidelines. He needs to fight too. He wants to protect people, just like as much as Edward does. And so <laughs> I really love how each character changes a lot in this and the growing and the character development and just, so yeah, I'm just really... I always wanted to watch this anime because it's it's truly inspiring. It's an inspiring show, and I, I, I want to share it to you guys because I want to read this um, little, um, little quote that Ed says at the end of the show of Brotherhood. There's no such thing as a painless lesson. They don't exist. Sacrifices are necessary. You can't gain anything without losing something first. 
Although, if you can endure that pain and walk away from it, you'll find that you now have a heart strong enough to overcome any obstacle. Yeah, a heart made full metal. If you guys know what that means, I want you I want you guys to um, tell me you guys' um, like, um, opinions about that. I want to know. Well, to my understanding is that, you know, every lesson, um, well, there's no such thing. There really is no such thing as a painful lesson. Because there isn't. Because every day is a challenge, but also it can be a painful challenge too. And also it's telling you that if you move on and look forward and you keep going forward and challenging yourself and moving to where stop thinking about the past and, and just knowing that there's hope of the, of the front of co closest to you. Like when you move forward, there's hope. And when you go to it, you will become stronger and you will become like invincible. And that's what the show is about where whatever you did, but there is, there is a lesson and the lesson is where it's just very, very challenging. And the challenging part was that Ed and Al just, um, had to learn the hard way as being kids to where you can't bring someone back from the dead. And when you do that, it, there's a toll to pay and that's even worse. But then all of a sudden they decided to move forward and find hope, and they did. So I really do love these animes. It's called um, Full Metal and uh, Full Metal Alchemist and Full Metal Brotherhood. Um, they're both on Netflix, and so choose I do believe it. There's also other people reactions uh, reactions of watching the TV show. I do remind remind re recommend that. Also, please, I hope you guys have a lovely day. Also, just to verify, if you have any TV shows or any animes I have never heard, please comment down below. I really want to know what you guys' animes, TV shows, or whatever you have not wa uh, watched. Because I want to share with you guys. Come on, I want to know. I want to know. Come on, please. And so, I hope you guys have a lovely day. I'll see you guys again. So, bye.